The anti-cult YouTube show made for someone. Okay, um, basically this is the Almighty Wind seal. The seal of a mighty wind. Now, notice some of the things here. They have a dove, which is obviously a symbol of the Holy Spirit, otherwise known as the Holy Ghost. They have an eagle. Now that's a pagan symbol, isn't it? They have a sword, a symbol of war, covered in gems, gold and shining. These are pagan symbols. You have the Archangels. Notice the Archangel Michael on top. References to Revelation scattered around the seal. The final trumpet, of course. Seven trumpets, which mark part of the end times. It is basically a, shall we say, a new age twist on Christian doomsaying. This seal alone says it all. The idea of the Archangels, which is heavily played upon in the New Age, but not only in the New Age, obviously, being played upon with uh, ideas of revelation, doomsday cults focus majority on very limited texts. Usually the book of revelation if they're Christian. In this case, they're focusing almost solely on Revelation. The book of Revelation is their Bible, in a way, because they forget many of the good parts in it. Even though I'm not Christian myself, I recognise why so many Christians criticise a mighty wind. Now, they have all this pagan symbology going on, symbolism, and they expect you to accept them as being the true Christianity. They have the shield, of course, the sword and the shield overlapping, the crossed sword. It's not actually an ancient sword. You wouldn't see ancient swords like this. No. The eagle, which is a symbol of a sky god, which is also a pagan thing. I mean, is a mighty wind admitting in its seal that it's a pagan-esque, new age, doomsday cult. 